Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Ted's Week Emporium. My name is Teresa, aka Ted, and I have been dying to try this wig for such a long time, guys. This is called So Darling by Natural Image Inspired Collection in color Creamy Glow Rooted. When a company in the UK called Hot Hair, it's an online wig retailer, asked me to pick a style from their website, I was very quick to select this one because I've seen it on so many faces now and it looks so cute. I just wanted to try it. So if you use a coupon code S HHH25, you can save 25% off across the website. So I will leave all of the details in the description for you to check it out later. The name So Darling describes this wig so perfectly. Not only she comes with all of the features that we really love in a synthetic wig, like an extended lace front and full monofilament top, she is more affordable and has less density on the top around the hairline. So as you can see guys, this is a chin length style with this really gorgeous loose beachy waves. She doesn't really come with much of a bang. This front here measures about eight and a half inches. From the crown she measures eight and a half inches. The sides measure seven and a half inches and the nape measures three inches, which makes it slightly shorter than January by John Renner. Let me give you a spin. This is my left hand side. From the back. And the right. I am so impressed with the quality of this wig, guys. If I was going to pick the favorite thing, it would definitely be that extended lace front. All I've done so far to this wig is I shook her upside down and changed the parting onto the right hand side. Now, let me come closer and show you how beautiful that lace front is. This is definitely on par with Ellen Villa, John Renault. I even dare to say Rucker Welch, guys. That hairline is so natural. The transition of that extended lace front is absolutely seamless. The lighter pieces of the blonde brought forward to the front make that hairline incredibly natural and, and believable. I'm getting superb coverage on both sides. This is seriously good quality. Let me show you the monofilament. That the darker rooting, it's a root number 10 so it's a slightly ashy light brown root complements the entire color perfectly there is no way anyone will be able to tell by looking at your hairline that you are wearing a wig guys the wig overall is low density as well. She does weigh, however, 3.2 ounces compared to 2.9 ounces on January, but you seriously wouldn't be able to tell the difference. To me, there is definitely much nicer volume here at the front, perhaps slightly more volume at the back, but overall, there's definitely a perfect style for the summer. You can tuck it behind your ears. 
and it just stays there guys this wig requires very minimum training she's not a face flopper the hair just stays where it is she's very light those those fibers feel slightly on the drier side but they do seem to be very fluffy very soft really really nice to the touch it is a standard synthetic so you will keep this beautiful shape regardless of how many time you brush her and wash her if you want to define those curls a little bit more you can definitely use john Reno's peace out cream which will texturize those um, layers and bring out this beautiful wave right so more importantly guys let's talk about the size of the cap technically speaking this is an average size cap but it runs on the smaller side on my petite average head it fits me spot on typically what i find there is quite a lot of spare wefts at the back there is stretch in the cap but it feels really really nice and comfortable as you can see the coverage is really great and it's maybe sitting a little low at the back but you can always push that away from the back of your ear so this is how it rests naturally there are permities in this style those permities hide any of the wefts because of the low density and they add height here at the top around the monofilament area and let's talk about this color creamy glow rooted this color is described as soft light blonde it comes with a, a light number 10 rooting which looks incredibly natural it's more of an ashy light brown then it transforms in this beautiful blend of creamy blonde and lightest pale blonde this is not the warmest blonde i've ever worn but it's definitely not a cool blonde and just to show you guys and what i've got here is henry margot's avery in color 10 613 so this one is more of a neutral platinum blonde as you can see this is definitely a tad warmer perhaps not as warm as john Renault's laguna blonde but definitely leaning towards warm the root itself is not as long as on the avery wig now my only regret when it comes to natural image is that there is a very limited choice of colors to pick from so in my opinion they should definitely consider expanding their color palette let's have a look what this color looks like from outside in the natural daylight the cap construction next so as you can see guys we are getting extended lace front beautiful welded lace with lighter pieces brought forward to the front of the hairline beautiful transition into the rest of the ear tub generous monofilament top and it does feel really comfortable it's not itchy and it does not scratch velvet lined ear tubs with metal stays extended nape with velcro type adjusters some permities in the open cap mainly located at the top section with less permities at the nape making it much cooler and more comfortable at the nape there is some stretch in the cap allowing for 
a reasonable amount of different head sizes if your head is maybe larger than 23 inches you might want to check that with the um, retailer so when it comes to styling although she's a little too short to um, stay in a ponytail there are a few little things that you can do to change up how she looks from day to day probably the best thing you can do is to use some clips and maybe add a few little twists here on the side you can even add a braid if you wanted to just pin some sections She does look really cute with a headband. Wearing sunglasses is not a problem either. It just slides at those ear tabs perfectly. Definitely adding little clips. Dress her up a little bit. But also introducing some headwear is a great option for a shorter style. If you enjoyed watching my review, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you once again to Hot Hair for supplying So Darling for me to review. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.